Boy, that sounds ominous. Well, I hope you get something out of this video. Uh, I put it together just as an informative video for everyone who has one of these engines. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> What you heard there was what's called the death rattle, that rattling noise from the engine. Um, let's listen to it one more time. I'm going to rev the engine up and then drop the throttle, and you're going to hear that sound. Listen carefully. Okay, let's listen to that again from a different angle. It's uh, the same clip, but uh, this time you're going to see it from the, uh, from the perspective of us standing next to the engine. Okay, I'm going to read from an email that I got, um, and uh, it describes what we are listening to. And what we're listening to is commonly referred to as the death rattle. It's not associated with the belt drive, uh, but is internal to the engine. It will occur with a gear drive as well. It is hard on the engine. It occurs because of a phenomenon called four-stroking. At low speeds, the engine does not have enough inertia to overcome the compression of the next piston's compression stroke. Plus, there is a late return pressure wave in the exhaust. The intake timing and exhaust timing are all messed up. Therefore, the engine slows down and the cylinder fires before there is adequate fuel transferred to that cylinder. It does not occur in four strokes because there are valves that control fuel, air, and exhaust. The only thing that fixes the death rattle is RPM, which is why Rotax does not want you to idle the engine below 2000 RPM. Now here's a, a, another look at it uh, from a different perspective. I'm going to drop the throttle slowly, uh, only at the very end I drop just a little quick and you'll notice that there will be a drop in the RPM and then it bounces back up again. That was me. And then I slowly drop the throttle back down and no death rattle. And as we go along, the engine is now idling smoothly at about 2200 RPM. So the key I'm learning here is don't drop the throttle quickly, lower the throttle slowly on the engine, don't slam it backwards. So what is the takeaway from this? Uh, well, I'm sure, of course I'll show you the video as we walked around the engine as it was running from, uh, from, from behind here, but the takeaway is this death rattle, which I'd never heard of before, um, is a real phenomenon. It has nothing to do with the uh, the redrive. It'll happen with the gear drive as well. Um, it'll happen if the engine RPM is set too low. It'll also happen if you drop throttle real fast and right back down to idle at times. So be smooth on the throttle is is essentially what uh, what I'm getting out of this, and uh, and watch for that. Now, when the engine is idling at normal, it idles between 2150, 2200 RPM. Uh, so the idle is set good. It's just I got to be careful with that uh, with that throttle when I back it down. That I back it down slowly, so don't don't get that uh, that uh, death rattle in it, which does damage the engine. So I hope this has been a, um, uh, a learning uh, video for everyone that uh, has uh, the five, uh, 503 and the 582 engine. They both do the same thing. 
and um, maybe it'll save you from uh, a lot of grief and if you've been hearing that on your engine well you might either want to increase your throttle uh, for your idle RPM or just be slower when you drop throttle back to idle um, like and subscribe thanks a lot for following along and uh, this finishes this video see you again in the hangar <laughs>